All right, guys, before we get going here today, I'm going to show you offloading the load that I have on, and then we're gonna get into the things you should know and some of the questions that people have about car hauling. We're gonna get into that, but first, guys, I have to say, if you want to join a company like United Road, please use me as your referral. My name is Matt Weiland. I get a pretty good sized bonus if you guys do. On top of that, also, if you could, if this is the kind of stuff that you guys like uh, like watching, if you've watched a couple of my videos, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button if you like what I'm doing here and ask any questions. I try to answer everybody back. So let's check out unloading and I'll catch you guys in just a minute. What's going on, guys? We just got up here to Barbersville, West Virginia. We have to offload four here, run up to Parkersburg offload three more and then up to Benwood Virginia West Virginia to offload our last two um, we're out here running on a Sunday because uh, last week just trying to build a load or get a load together for to end out the uh, the week up here I didn't want to get stuck for the weekend so I called it early on a Thursday and then uh, we're, we're turning around and uh, Ran out on Sunday, so we'll probably call it this week on Thursday again. Uh, I think that sun's right behind me. I'll turn this way. But I'm going to show you guys the load real quick. We're going to get this offloaded, and I also have a tripod that I'm going to set up so you guys can actually see this load being offloaded compared to what we have been showing lately. So here's what we got going on. Got a, a Sorrento with a K5. Those are both going to Benwood. Got a Sorrento a K5 and a K5 going up to Parkersburg. And we got this Sorrento with a K5, a Sorrento, and a Telluride coming here to uh, Barbersville Kia. You see the flag in the back. Um, but yeah, this is what we got going on. We're gonna run this one and then uh, I will talk to you guys. I'll talk to you guys uh, when we get this all offloaded tonight about what it takes to be a car hauler and is that something that uh, would be right for you if you're interested in making the jump into this industry what you need to know so let's get off loaded quick and i'll uh, set you guys up so you can watch the progress see you in a minute
right, guys. Um, some of the questions that people have about car hauling that I get quite often, I'm going to try to answer that so you guys can decide if car hauling is right for you. Um, give you a quick little snippet. This is the load that I have on right now. And uh, this little 10 car load will be in the next vlog. I'll explain how that's all done. But, um, so is car hauling right for you? Is that something that you're looking to do? For me, uh, that's all I've ever done. I've never bumped a dock. I've never pulled straps on a flatbed. I've never hauled a tanker. I have hauled cars since day one. So for me, yes, I, I think car hauling is awesome, obviously. And I bet you, you guys probably do too. Seems how you're here watching this, probably trying to get some information on it. Um, one thing you need to understand with car hauling is it tends to be a, uh, a very lucrative job. I would start off with that. Um, I would expect most places are going to be like here with United Road where you're probably going to turn at the low end 1650 1750 a week at the higher end before bonuses 21 2300 a week most weeks if you hustle um it is very doable out here it is not something that uh that that is very hard to come by you, you gotta hustle you gotta work uh work your butt off it's not always the most pleasant time you can tell i'm in the snow belt right now um it's cold sometimes it's hot sometimes and you're kind of like a flat bedding you're you're in rain snow shine it don't matter um if you get to where you're loading or unloading you just got to get out and do it there's no sitting in the truck and waiting around um no one's gonna put the load on for you um the next thing is car hauling hard i would say no I don't feel it's a very hard industry. I say it takes a little while um, to get used to it. it you, you, you have to learn it. Car hauling isn't just something that you're gonna jump into and get day one. There are gonna be a few weeks to a couple months where you're not gonna make a whole lot when you first start out. This, this right here is more of a career than it is a job. Um, if you look at it as a career and you become an expert in it and you try to learn everything you can and keep track in your mind or by photos or watching YouTube videos, um, all the different loads that are possible, all the different setups of these car haulers, how to back things on, pull things on, the order to put them. If you learn all of that, it does become a lot easier. Uh, it, it, it's not, it's not something that it's not rocket science. I would say, I know a lot of people are going to get really mad at me for saying that, but, uh, it's not hard. It's just time consuming to learn. Uh, so yeah, in, in that aspect, it, it's, it's not a bad industry. Um, what else is there? Are these things hard to put onto the truck? No, but you have, you have to watch. One of the things that you always want to do is learn where your uh, placement of your vehicles are. So like you look right here, you see there's a row of dots all the way up. They're fairly straight. They do kind of veer here or there as you go, but you learn. Like I know with Tellurides, backing on, if this tire is just over that row of dots, the very outside row, I'll have plenty of room between that mirror and that side and come over here. I'll have plenty of room between this mirror and this side of the trailer. You can see all the way up. It's perfectly straight. You'll learn where to park your vehicles. Like most of my vehicles in this spot right here are going to be parked. Usually actually back here, I use this front, uh, front tie down. On the front of the tire but because it's three tellurides across the bottom i just got to move forward a little bit or to the back of the trailer a little bit more um just just so you have space um getting in and out of parking lots can be tricky i will say um some of these places you go to it, it's going to be challenging 
like this dealership i've been coming here for a while normally i pull in right here pull in between that opening right over there and then loop around the front of the dealership and come out but now because there's rocks right there in the snowbank where it's parked i'm not going to be able to make that turn so now this time i'm going to have to cut around right here which sometimes if the cars are parked on the side of the building so that front row makes it real tight and if it did i would have to back back out of here you do run into that it is challenging i would say the most challenging part is probably some of these dealerships that you go to um it, it's not anything that's that's horrible but you do get into some of these places and just have to remind yourself that look if you can uh pull into it you can back back out of it follow your same tracks get someone to spot you get out a half a dozen times who cares what's worse that's gonna happen it's gonna take you an extra 10 minutes you're gonna maybe piss somebody off trying to pull in that that's no big deal be safe about it uh the other thing with car hauling i will say home time that's huge for me uh i have again like i always say i got a family there's six of us my wife and four kids home time is huge car hauling for the most part tends to be a monday through friday job there's not a lot of places in certain parts of the country that you can deliver to or that you want to deliver to when they're closed uh because STIing a car which is subject to inspection that's what it stands for you give the dealership 48 hours to wash the car find damage and if they're a uh, not a very reputable dealership there's a lot of them that will just find damage that wasn't really there to charge for something that showed up that they didn't catch last time um other things you got to deal with is if someone damages the car before at 48 hours is up or vandalism things of that nature uh some sometimes you you're not going to want to do the stis so therefore this tends to be a very monday through friday nine to five kind of job you're going to work a lot longer than that but your delivery times are going to be nine to five your normal uh dealership hours i would say um so the home time with car hauling tends to be very good which is one of the things that i really love about it something else that you're gonna need to learn if you're gonna get into this industry is knowing your heights where you can run uh your bridge heights the these things i don't know if i'm pointing in the right spot but those cars right there um you got to be 13 6 running the east coast uh, I know a lot of people will tell you, oh, I run 14, I run 14 too. The law is 13.6. Follow the law. If you follow the law, you tend to not get yourself in trouble. Um, don't, don't be an outlaw out here. I, I, I follow the law as much as possible. I don't break the law. That is, uh, that is something that I do. Or following the law is a very big thing for me because look, I'm the one that goes to jail if I screw up, not my dispatcher or manager or company I work for that tells me, oh, everybody does it. Everybody runs heavy. You're not passing any scales. Don't, don't, don't mess with that. That is something to, uh, something major to remember. Is this job fun? That, that is one that I get. Do I enjoy it? Is, is the job entertaining? It's as entertaining as you want it to be. I personally love it. I love challenging myself with things like this 10 car load behind me. Um, different loads, whether it's pickup trucks, SUVs. I love the challenge. I love trying to, uh, I guess, I love trying to beat my records. Um, most number of cars hauled in a week. My biggest grossing week. My biggest grossing month. Um uh, trying to get the biggest bonus check I can get. I, I I have little little goals that I set for myself. Like one of them was putting 10 cars on a head rack. Or putting 10 cars on a trailer like this with a 4 car head rack. Another one was an 11 car load when I had my high rail. Something that I always wanted to do. Um, stacking 4 on the head rack this way. That was a challenge. I had never done it until I came over to here at United Road. 
all those little things t- do make it entertaining for me that that is one of the things that I love about hauling cars is it's not your general basic everyday run of the mill kind of work um and I will say if you become a car hauler you're no longer a truck driver we have truck drivers that haul cars and they don't tend to last long if you're a car hauler then then you you are a small breed um I, I did some math a while back and, and I don't think there's a whole lot of us out there there's I think three, 3.5 million truck drivers total. And car hauler wise, you add up all the big boys and figure they're one third of the industry. Then uh, we're, we're looking at about, in my opinion, about 25,000 of us out there. There's not a lot of car haulers. So we, were, we tend to be a very specialized industry. And it takes a very specialized person to do it. Um, again, it's not hard. But you you have to you have to enjoy the challenge. You have to enjoy dealing with a lot of people out here. I, I would say a lot of the trucking industry is probably let that way with a lot of different people. But uh, you don't get to bump a dock, go sit in the truck, and wait for the green light to come on. Um, nothing against people that do that, and nothing against if, if that's what you enjoy doing. Um, but car haulers are not truck drivers, and truck drivers are oh, sorry. Car haulers are truck drivers, but truck drivers are not car haulers. It, it takes, like I said, a special kind of person to do this job. And I would say, really, th- this, this is a great industry. It makes a lot of money um, easily. If you hustle, this is a $100,000 a year plus job. Even here at United Road, I know people, I, I get a lot of complaints that United Road has cheap freight. I, I I beg to differ with that. Um, per load might be a little cheaper than some of the other companies out there. And also it's going to be more than some of the other companies out there. But the big difference, the big reason I love United Road is they, they leave us alone and let us go do. Let, let us go sink or swim on our own. I get to run this truck as if I'm an owner operator. They're not forcing me to take loads I don't want to take. Now you do take loads that you don't want to take, but that's because there's a great load on the other side. Um, but United Road here, the great thing about them is I take this load to West Virginia. I'm coming up here. I'm going to drop this off. My last drop is Morgantown, West Virginia. I got about a 45 minute to an hour drive to my next load. I don't have four or 500 miles to get to my next load like a lot of places do. Here, there's loads everywhere. We got, I don't even know, I should, I should ask before I say this, but I'd say well over 90 terminals or places to get loads. And then we got everything with CarMax and Carvana and the used car market. Um, the... What would you call it? Uh, rental car markets, all of that. I mean, it's just tons and tons and tons of work. Do I think car hauling is great to get into right now? Absolutely. Right now, we are getting into a boom time, in my opinion. I am staying probably busier right now than I have in the last year and a half. Um, <laughs> for for instance, right now, my, my whole week is pretty much planned out. I'm going to bring this load up to West Virginia. I'm going to grab a CarMax load back to East Tennessee. I'm going to go back to uh, Kia, grab another load, bring that back up to West Virginia, grab another CarMax load, bring it back to East Tennessee. That's my whole week. And right right there, I, I'm easily going to turn a, I'd say it's, that's pretty easily a $2,100 paycheck. Just, just that right there. And that it's every week like this. I, I know I talk up United Road. I'm probably the wrong person to uh, to ask if this is a good place to work for because I have no complaints. Uh, one of, that's one of the big things that uh, that I like about here. Um, I, I found a home. But uh, car hauling wise, I mean, this isn't the only company you can join. If it is the company that you want to join, again, please use me as your referral. Um, but yeah, if you want to get into this, this is a great company that trains. They'll teach you how to haul cars, whether you've done it for years or you've never done it before in your life. This is this is a place that you can come to. But uh, 
I guess until the next one of these, I will, uh, I'll catch you guys in a little while. I'm going to get this offloaded and, uh, we're, we're, we're going to head up the road and try to make some money today. So before I freeze out here, I will catch you guys on the next one. Guys, please like, and subscribe, uh, down in the links below. Got my Robinhood app. If you want to invest, always take 10% of your income, put it into an investment account, watch it grow. Your money never stops working for you. Two, the credit card that I always use is a Capital One Quicksilver card. Great card. It's what I used. I gain points with it all year long, and then I turn around and take my family on vacations like Disney World. Um, and then uh, lastly is the Get Upside app where you get a kickback on every dollar you spend on gas or diesel. Scan your receipts. Make some money on it. You're already spending it. So uh, whether it's yours, whether it's the company's, you get a kickback for it. So, guys, I love you. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.